Are you a chemistry student struggling with entering a number in scientific notation into your calculator while performing problems? Well, let me show you my favorite way to accomplish this sometimes tedious task. One of the most common problems involving scientific notation in chemistry is one involving frequency and wavelength. In this particular problem, they give us a frequency of 7.26 times 10 to the 14 hertz and ask us to solve for the wavelength associated with the frequency of light. So we've rearranged our speed of light equation to solve for wavelength or lambda. So we have the speed of light C divided by nu, our frequency. Both these numbers are in scientific notation and we need to be able to plug them into our calculator quickly. So the easiest way to do this without having to worry about using a lot of parentheses exactly appropriately is using the double E button. So we're going to start with our speed of light and enter 2.998 into our calculator. And then we're going to hit the second button up in the top left hand corner. And then we're going to hit the double E button, which is just above the number seven on this particular calculator. And the double E is the same color as the second button. An E will appear on the screen. This E means the times 10 to part in a scientific notation number. So then all you have to worry about is entering the exponent, which happens to be 8 here. Then we're going to hit the divide by s button, and then we're going to enter our frequency the exact same way. So 7.26, second button, double E, and then 14, the exponent. Then we just have to hit equals. And we wind up with an answer of 4.1294 times 10 to the negative seventh. If we're worried about sig figs here, we're going to take a look at our frequency. There's only three sig figs in our frequency, so we can have three sig figs in our answer. So we're going to go ahead and round this answer to 4.13 times 10 to the negative seventh. Our seconds cancel in this operation, so the unit on our answer will be meters. Works the exact same way on a graphing calculator, and what's really nice about scientific notation is it only shows the significant digits. It leaves out any of those leading or trailing zeros that are not significant. I hope this helps you in your calculations. Be well.